everybody. Today we're talking about money. We're going to learn some new money terms today with the help of our friend Larry. Larry is paying his bills and working on his budget. And he wants to determine which of his expenses are variable and which are fixed. What do those words mean? Well, a variable expense is one that is not always the same. It changes or varies. A fixed expense is one that stays the same. Let's see if we can help Larry sort some of his expenses. Rent tends to be the same on a month-to-month -month basis. We'll call that fixed. The amount we spend at the grocery store tends to change or vary. Our car insurance tends to be the same on a month-to-month -month basis. The gas that we put in the car is not always the same. That changes. The car payment tends to be the same every month. And the cost of clothes tends to vary. Okay, so now that we've helped Larry sort those expenses, it'd be nice if he had a little bit of side money to pay for some of these things. Luckily, not only is Larry good at making budgets, but Larry's good at building. He made that bookshelf, and he earned some profit. What's profit? Well, profit's the amount of money you earn on goods or services after expenses. Let's see if we can find out the profit Larry earned from building the bookshelf. First, we need to know what were his expenses. Here we have a list of what Larry bought to build the bookshelf, and if we total this or add those all up, we can find his expenses, which were $250. To find his profit, we need to know how much he sold the bookshelf for. Well, he sold it to his friend for $400, and his expenses were $250. So to find the profit, we need to subtract. And then we learn that Larry gained $150 profit. Good job, Larry. Now that Larry's got a little bit of extra cash, what's he going to do with it? He could hide it in that bookshelf, but it might be better if he put it in the bank. Because a bank's a good place to keep your money safe. Banks are also helpful because they lend money, or we borrow money from them for larger purchases, like opening a business or buying a house. Larry would like to thank you for hanging out with him today and learning about money.